Hey guys, my name is Jump Select, and welcome back to some more Let's Play Final Fantasy IV. In the last episode, we made it up to this point where we are now going to fight Rupakant, the Fiend of Fire. So let's go ahead and do this. Now I restore you to full strength. Fight with all your might. Fight with all your might. Oh, he's gonna heal us? That's kind of- that's actually very fair of him. I gotta give this guy props. He's, he's at least- he at least fights fair. So let's do this. So we have Rupakent here, who is a fire-based enemy. So I'm hoping that our ice attacks do a lot. Of Ooh, they do. He does not stand a chance. Oh no, no, he does not stand a chance. Now he's got flood here. We're definitely gonna use flood. It's a very good ability because uh, Edge learned those two abilities in the last episode. But um, some. Ooh, god, that's a very strong attack. Holy hell! Do I have life two? I don't have life two yet. Rosie, here, heal him. So, um, yesterday, or not yesterday, I mean, well, yeah, yesterday. Oh, God, how'd that heal him? I thought, I thought he was a fire beast. I don't know. But what I was going to say, ooh, I can't really afford to, yeah, that's right. um, what I was going to say, guys, is that, um, Jesus. Oh, Gia's getting low on health, too. Dang it. I don't think this guy really stands a chance, to be honest. In the last episode, guys, I had really, oh, no, dead. I had really bad allergies. I will be the first to say that. It was really bad in the last episode. I kept cutting and I was sneezing a lot. And yeah, you know, I just was not feeling good because of my allergies, but I feel better. You know, it's a new day. Um, it's about what, seven o'clock now in the evening, so. God, that attack does so much damage. I don't want anyone to miss out on experience. I'm just like trying to keep the team alive, but he keeps using that really strong attack. I'm trying to get the team back up. Okay, yeah, so last episode was kind of bad with that, but I feel better now. You know, my allergies aren't bad. It tends to always happen when I'm trying to record, you know. Please don't kill anyone. Come on. You'd think he would be dead after hitting him with these very strong attacks. I'm really hoping Rosie can... There we go. She gets off her cure 3. Yeah, so... That's, uh... What happened in the last episode. Oh, what the heck? You got health? Why did that give him health? Last time he did a lot of damage. I really don't understand that. But, alright. Hmm. Definitely should keep using Cure 2. Oh, Cure, Cure 3, I mean. How is he still alive? Like, we've been hitting him with some really strong attacks. Let's use Miss. Oh, he's going back into that form. Is that the form where we can hit him with... Um, what's it called? Hit him with... Ice attacks? Our weapons are doing a lot of damage because we have ice weapons. For at least, uh, Sissel and, uh, what's his name? Kane. But, yeah. Oh, we got him. Good. Everyone was alive. So, we're all good. So, there you go, guys. Uh, this boss fight is not at all that bad. It's not, it's really not that bad when you have those ice weapons for your characters. You know, I would just say, you know, get Sissel and Kane ice brand weapons to do more damage. Have a uh, Radia, also aka Gia, use her black magic. If your ice attacks are healing, healing him like it did that one time, just stop using it. But the other time, it actually did do a lot of damage to him. Okay, gain the level. Sal gain the level. Rosie gain the level. Everyone gains levels. I think that's the first time that Sal actually leveled up. Well, now, I see why Gobez had a hard time with you. Weak people can join forces. I admire you. We're, we're, we're <laughs> Weak people can join forces? What a jerk. I admire you, warriors. Farewell. So does that mean he's like dead? Like gone? Defeated? I think so. Dad. No, I, I avenged you. Yeah. That was so sad what happened in the last episode, your highness. I'm like trying to... What? Who are these people? Chamberlain. We won't let your highness go alone. Where is Rubikant? We already took him out. It's over. We did it. 
That becomes the that becomes the prince. All because of these guys. Thank you, good sirs. Who's Gobez? The one gathering the crystals to reach the moon. He is the mastermind of Rubicon. Why the moon? For the power. And we have to stop him. Gobez, so he was behind all this? I'm gonna go get I'm gonna go and get him. Oh, but your highness, we must rebuild our, our castle. The world is in danger. I gotta do something. Besides, I don't like that guy. <laughs> oh, but your highness, don't worry. Now go back to Evelyn. Very well, sirs. Please take care of our prince. Your highness, good for fortunes be fortune be with you. Okie doke. Okie dokie. Awesome. Right, let's go smash Gobez to get back the crystals. All right, now let's go. All right, so yeah, it's the first level up that uh, Sal actually got. As you guys can see, he was level 25 when we got him. Now he's 26, so which is weird because I could have sworn I was killing enemies. Oh, this is it? A pitfall? Are you serious? No, Siri, shut up. Okay, stop doing that. I really had to stop saying that word, that sentence. Ouch. Seems like we're, we've fallen to the underground. Oh, so we're back underground? Uh, okay, maybe we can get out of here now. I hope so. I hate this place. I want to get out of here. This place is ugly. I hate it. So we're back. Oh, maybe we can... Iron Man? <laughs> Iron Man, that's really cool. Imagine if it's actually Iron Man. That'd be pretty cool. We probably have a very difficult fight ahead of us if it was. Oh. Okay, let's keep going. Those Iron Men, Iron Men enemies are actually really strong. Like they can take a lot of hits before dying. There's a chest over there. I definitely want to get that really quick. Oh, okay, that's it. Try to. Okay, are we almost out of here? I'm really getting tired of this freaking tower. It's probably one of the more annoying things of this game is how much time he spent. What? What? New airship. Let's take this airship and get out of the tower. It's not yours. That's okay. It would be happy to be used by. <laughs> well, we're gonna use it anyways, Gia. Okay, we gotta make use of what we can get. Where do you think we're just gonna- How the hell are we gonna get out of here otherwise? Let's use it. Isn't this a trap or something? Don't worry, I like this airship. Let's call it Falcon. <laughs> How do you like that? Sounds funny. Hurry up, Sal. Okay, okay, now go Falcon. <laughs> uh. What? Um, what's going on? Is it lifting? Oh. What the hell? Oh, we just came out the ground. <gasps> oh, this is that airship that can withstand the heat. Oh, no, I can't because, it, oh, it can't. See, guys, because it can't fly. It can't fly over the lava. Or, yeah, or, yeah, the lava. Magma. Magma. Whatever you want to call it. It can't fly over it. It can only fly over the, over the ground. Yeah, okay. Um, See how far we can go? We can go up here. Ooh, what's over here? Ooh, what's here? What's this? <laughs> What's this? It's a crater. Oh, that's the oh, yeah. that's the way you would get out, I believe. Um, yeah. So with that being said, you can't really freaking go that far. There is that kingdom there. Yeah. Anyways, I think we have to go back to the kingdom because. Oh, dang it. Oh, what? You can land on here? What? Okay, you can land there if you want, but I don't know why you would. I'm trying to land uh, next to the tower. There we go. All right, we are now back at the underworld, which is pretty interesting. We're back. Wonder if Gabe is here. I thought, cause like they're worried that I've been worried. We've we've been worried. How did it go? I am afraid. I see. Goes Gobez is trying to force open the sealed cave. It's just a matter of time before he succeeds. So I want you to get the crystal before him. Luca. Luca? 
What is it, father? Give me your necklace. This one? This is the very key to open the sealed cave. No one can enter the cave without it. We must defend the last crystal at all costs. Hmm. We'll do our best. And we got Luke. Oh, it's a key. Okay, that's cool. So, we'll count We'll count to the main forces of the enemy. You go to the sealed cave to the southwest. We can't actually go down there. Does he know we can't go down there? Hmm. Um, how are we supposed to get down there? Because it's being, it's, it, our airship can't fly. Uh, okay, I don't know. We'll have to figure out something. What I'm going to do now is just quickly go to the end. And would you look who it is? He's not dead after all. Food? How can these people eat such tasteless... Gabe? Seems like Sid is still alive. You're okay. Good grief. Ha <laughs> ha. Who's this chap? Chap? You and impertinent brat. Who do you think you are talking to? Who is this little nuisance? <laughs> nuisance. I'm Sal, the re-owned Prince of Evelyn. He is a prince, though his mouth betrays his nature. And a handsome, skilled ninja as well. <laughs> he is injured, don't worry, anger him. Hat peck, hand pecked, <laughs> boy. Oh, shut up. Anyways, maybe he could help us, guys. By the way, what of Gobez? We've defeated all of his four fiends, but all the crystals, except for the last one, are now. We want to go get the last crystal, but the Enterprise is above. Is above on the upper world oh yes it is yes we snatched an airship from the enemy but it cannot fly over the magma aha now it's my turn can't do anything without me what about your condition you must stay in bed Lila lolly lolly wait until you heal lolly oh shut up and help me remodel the airship we have no time to waste they're like, okay. <laughs> he looks fine. Yeah. I mean, if, he, if he's fine, then alright. Hehe. <laughs> He's like, get to work, Prince. <laughs> this is really cool. Hmm. Is it done yet? Huh. What? He's floating in the air. He's floating in the air. Yeah, what the heck? Did he, did he fall? Is the airship done yeah you get back in bed you don't look good now you can fly over the magma thank you Gabe did he die now what the heck no oh. no nah, he's just sleeping he must have been very tired he has overworked himself <laughs> thanks Gabe thank you man appreciate your help hmm okay so we can use the Airship now, so let's go outside. Okay, let's go ahead and give it a shot. Now, guys, first thing I want to say is that uh, I need to actually pull up a map <laughs> of this area. I had the map of the upper world. I just don't have the one for this area. Okay, guys, so there's a few places you can go to. I just want to look it up just so I know... Uh, where to go? I mean, oh, I know where to go, guys. I just want to make sure that we know the area. Now, there is this right here. I believe these guys are capable of making a very powerful weapon. Kind of similar to Legend of Zelda. Like Link to the Past. Hmm. 
Oh, nice. Heal. Cure two. Cool. All right, let's go ahead and talk to this guy. Let's see what he says. Boss has lost his confidence. Really? Who's the, who's the boss? This is the home of the world's greatest blacksmith. Coco? Keiko? I don't know. I just, I, 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 oh. Pronunciations. Not good at it in these uh, games. I'm not going to make another sword. I can't even find a legendary or a tab. Uh, Justin, come on. Adamant. Thank you. Adamant. That's how you say that. <laughs> so, anyways, if you find that ore, it is somewhere out there. If you find that, uh, uh the atadamant. Oh my gosh, cannot say it. Adamant. That's how it's pronounced. Jesus, I'm so terrible. So, if you find that ore, guys, um, and you give it to him, he will be able to make a very. I think he's able to upgrade one of your weapons. I think it's uh, Sissel's weapon. So, yeah, now they're. I'm just looking here on the map. Um, what's this over here? What's over here? Oh, another town. And what's... <gasps> is that what I think it is? Oh, no, that's the sealed cave. I was like, okay. I thought that was something else. Okay, what's... What's here? Oh, Toma. Tomra. It's like Tamara. Tamara. Okay, cool. Uh... Now, one of the interesting things, guys, is that... Um... I just want to see what this guy says. Life cure two tent cabin heal other. Okay, he just sells the average stuff. In this town, guys, I think it's this town that sells some pretty good armor. Um, I believe so. I'm gonna try and find. Is that magma? I'm gonna try and find. Oh, here we go. Let's see. What do you sell? Middle. Chain. I don't ever use physical weapons with uh with uh radia i prefer to i prefer to her i prefer for her to have um a bow but there are certain weapons she gets like this that are good i think i remember there was one but we'll see later uh don't recall that being good this this we already have i think the mute arrows are stronger but i'm gonna hold off now he does need another one of those i believe hold on Okay, so he does need another another sword to f complete the other one. <laughs> what am I saying? He does. I need to buy him another sword. Oh, what the heck? I didn't know you could. That's weird, guys. You can actually just get to the other sh store by walking over there. I would have never have known that. That's really cool. Now, this is the diamond armor. I recall the diamond armor being very good. I don't remember if you keep it to the very end, like if it's really that good, but I remembered that this armor was good to get for both Sissel and Kane. So, yeah. Hmm. The tiara is for uh, Rosie and Gia, very good. And the diamond is for the other three. So yeah, as you guys can see, it's very expensive. So buying full diamond armor armor for these two guys would be a lot of money. So we're definitely gonna have to come back later and pick it up because we don't have that kind of money. The ogre sucks. Um, now these right here, the shurikens, this is what um, Edge can use to throw at enemies. I think he can throw this, he can throw like, like arrows or swords, I think. But yeah, um, I think we can get rid of these white right here. I'm probably gonna get rid of them soon. I'm just, I'm still holding on to them just in case. Um, but yeah, guys, very, very good. Hold on. Let me just get rid of these arrows. I don't want them. But yeah, I think that's the gist of that. Also, we can just sell the the, the sword as well. Give me one sec. So when it comes down to that armor. I don't really think we should buy any of it yet. Let's buy um, Edge a second sword because he has the short. So we want to give him middle. So he has two middles. And that, that sounds 
That was just seemed good. So that's good for him. Uh, any better armor for him to put? No, I remember this not being... Oh. Increases, it, it increases his attack, but lowers his defense. Uh, nah, eh, we'll stick with the silver. But, yeah, guys, we're definitely going to want to come back later to get that armor. Because I recall it being very good. I've, I've al I always come and purchase that armor. But, like I said, it's very expensive. And if you don't have... You, you most likely don't have the money for that. So, I would recommend coming back to get that later. I'm just trying to think if it ends up getting replaced at the end of the game. In the finale. I'm not sure. What the heck? There's a bunch of chests in here. Ooh. Nice. Glad you came this far. Take whatever you want. Oh, that's nice of you. These people are so nice. Here too. Cabin. 400. Okay. Cool. I like this place. Very nice. Um, we'll go to the end really quick. Okay, guys. Let's go ahead and move on. Now, the place we have to go is right here. It's right here. The I think it's called the Sealed Cave. That's where we're supposed to go. However, I just want to show you guys these other areas. There's the Land of Monsters right here. And then up here is the... Solvent... Is that, what does that say? I think that says... Uh, yeah, Sol... It says, like, Solvent Cave, I believe. Okay. That's somewhere else we're going to have to go. But I really, I just really quickly want to show you the land of monsters. I think this is the one, the place that I'm thinking of. Let's see. Okay. Now. This area, is, I, rem I believe it's optional. You don't have to come here. This is the land of monsters. It's an optional dungeon cave that you can explore. But if you do explore the land of monsters, I recall that this leads to a really cool area. This place is really cool. I like this area a lot. There's a lot of stuff you can get. And there's some really cool music that you can hear. I think, I forgot what it's called, but if you go deep into that dungeon, you can actually find a deeper dungeon that has really cool music. It, is it that? Or am I thinking of another area? I, I think I'm thinking of another area, but anyways, I think that's, I believe that's optional. You don't have to go there. But I recall if you do, you get something good. I'm just trying to think where that part is. If it's, you know, inside that cave or it's, or if it's somewhere else. But anyways. Here we have the sealed cave. Another dungeon. I'm going to save the game because I'm going to end this episode off here. We got a lot of, we got a good amount of stuff done. You know, we got this boat. Oh, not the boat. <laughs> boat. <laughs> it looks like a boat, honestly. It looks like it should be going through the like sailing through the magma but um we got the ship not fixed but we made the ship we made the ship be able to fly over magma is what i'm trying to get here anyways next time in final fantasy 4 we're gonna go into the sealed cave and see what happens the crystal is in there so we have to get it and protect it so anyways if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to like comment and share subscribe to become a gem and i'll see you guys next time bye bye